you can't go from a $2,000 a night hotel suite to a penitentiary and understand it. Uh, sure. The dark periods you entered and, and taking drugs and drinking and all of that. You know, you, you, you think you're free of all of that? Or whether that's still something... I'm sorry, I, I really don't. Uh, uh, what are we doing? I'm sorry. I... <laughs> you were given your first pot at seven years old? Oh, uh, I think it was seven, eight or nine. She's known as the miracle to save Robert Downey Jr. I might have been dead as a doornail if I hadn't met her. The judge sentenced Robert to hard time in Corcoran State Prison, home to Charles Manson. I have been called the menace to society. <laughs> You see razor wire fences, you see a lot of correctional officers, all of whose job basically is to protect society from you. How are people when they meet you these days? With the whole jailhouse thing, I think they're just a little worried that I might, you know, put a shim in them. Robert staggered into a neighbor's house in Coherent. I'm a strange man in my trial bed. He's unconscious. It's like I have a shotgun in my mouth, and I've got my finger on the trigger, and I like the taste of the gunmetal. I'm running out of resources to keep you out of state prison. I'm going to incarcerate you in a way that's very unpleasant for you. As opposed to incarcerate me in a way that's pleasant? I believe if you understand that's where you're going, maybe it'll save your life. By the time Robert Downey Jr. stood in court, He'd already been arrested and relapsed multiple times. Robert says he's been addicted to drugs since he was eight years old. Yeah, it started that long ago. And then marijuana was a part of your daily family life growing up. It was a staple like rice. It would be hypocritical to uh, not have our kids participate in marijuana, so we thought it was cute to let them smoke it. Everybody's dad is their first projection of that, that archetype of power. He was a filmmaker. To me, it was just so strange being raised in this family where doing underground Maverick films was the norm. When Robert pursued a career in acting, he struggled to leave the drugs behind. You started smoking crack cocaine. saved Robert Downey Jr. We met on a horror movie. She was the producer and we were on location and it really was organic and a very romantic beginning. The first time like he asked you out. It was a flat no. She thinks. meant it too. I was like, wow, she's not kidding. Were you leery though of his past when you first started dating? He wasn't someone I was considering <laughs> getting together with. I was more like, okay, is he going to show up for the day? Secretly, Susan was drawn to Robert. She saw me in weird science, and at the time I had a space between my teeth, and she had a space between her teeth. So her first thought of me was like, oh my God, he's like me. It's okay that I have a space between my teeth. Really? Two thirds of the way through the movie we were doing, when and we, one day I was like, 
Wow, he is actually. But she couldn't let him derail her own dreams. I'm not so better. I mean, he's an actor. I have a real job. I'm in the office every day. We were just on slightly different pages at that point. Oh, yeah. So instead of giving Robert chance after chance like everyone else, Susan gave him an ultimatum. Susan said, don't do it anymore or, or I'm, I'm split. Do you worry about relapsing? So, well, yeah, the thought is terrifying. My worldview has to change if I want to really have a shot. The ultimatum made Robert realize he could become a better man. She does not do what everyone else has always done, which is thought. I need to be taken care of. I need to be validated. She doesn't treat you like a child. Correct. She's the real deal. She's my best friend. Mm -hmm. And she also just calls me on everything. Robert seized his chance at life. You spend your entire life getting your life together. You do Iron Man, the most gigantic movies of right. the summer. He's able to give you so much with so little. And he works really hard, too. Creatively satisfying. It was very, very, very hard work, and I dug very deep. And as true partners, Robert and Susan rise higher than ever. Any great partner holds their space and lets you fish yourself out of the chasm with a kind of benevolent neglect, which is saying, I can't do this work for you because it doesn't work if I take credit for it. Robert's incredibly humble about things. He's put in the work and it's starting to pay off. I try to just hold my space so that it's something that is consistent enough for someone else to rely on and have a deep abiding trust in. Because it's never too late to change your life for the better. Do you still get urges to do drugs? I have not even an inkling of a desire. It's easy to embrace hopelessness when things seem insurmountable. I never gave up. I had no intention of making my, my public, my private life, and, and my career so very difficult. I, I hope it's for some higher purpose.